Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, it's official Honda Jet to add midsize model. Electra Aero unveils full scale technology demonstrator. SpaceX celebrates 200th successful booster landing. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. It's official, Honda Jet to add midsize model. Honda Jet will add a midsize aircraft ostensibly capable of traversing the contiguous U.S. nonstop. At 2021's NBAA base, Honda Jet introduced its Honda Jet 2600 concept. The company disclosed the new model, which its engineers and management aspire to see FAA type certified in 2028, will complement the existing Honda Jet Elite 2. Honda Aircraft Company stated the 2600 model is to be, quote, a light jet with performances comparable to that of a medium-sized jet, end quote. The company further stated the NCOET aircraft will be capable of, quote, nonstop transcontinental flight, end quote. Honda asserts accurately that its 2600 would be the world's first light jet capable of such a feat, adding the plane will accommodate up to 11 occupants, yet remain legally operable by a single pilot. Honda's literature states the 2600 model will be powered by a pair of Williams International FJ44 4C turbofan engines, each producing 3,600 pounds force thrust. So motivated, the company claims the aircraft will cruise at 450 knots and reach a service ceiling of flight level 470. For the purpose of placating the eco-militant, Honda has loudly professed its commitment to reducing carbon emissions, crowing its new jet's fuel efficiency across a typical mission will be 20% better than that of extant light jets and 40% better than that of competing mid-sized jet aircraft. And coming up after the break, climate concern outs crypto founder for modest bizjet usage. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Climate concern outs crypto founder for modest bizjet usage. Cardano founder and developer Charles Hoskinson became the subject of some interesting headlines after being singled out as the top name in private jet pollution. The info was provided by Climate Jets, a website that tracks the estimated emissions from private aviation users in a kind of name and shame approach to curbing jet use. What should be interesting to jet owners and operators is the overall approach to singling out jet users who seem particularly egregious or hypocritical in the public eye, whether their actual flight hours are out of the norm or not. FAA Stonewalls Buttigieg's Private Jet Records The government watchdog group Americans for Public Trust has repeatedly prevailed upon the FAA to provide records detailing Transportation Secretary Buttigieg's use of the agency's jets, albeit to no avail. According to flight tracking data, Buttigieg has traveled both domestically and internationally aboard private jets managed by the FAA. APT has now reported it had filed a federal lawsuit against the FAA over the agency's alleged improper delay in providing the requested records. Sky Alp signs letter of intent with Tamarack Aerospace. Sky Alps has signed a letter of intent with Sandpoint, Idaho-based Tamarack Aerospace Group to partner in the development of a highly modified de Havilland Q400 regional aircraft featuring Tamarack's Eco Smartwing technology. Differing from conventional passive winglets, Tamarack's performance smart wing technology automatically controls wing bending during turbulence and other in-flight events by effectively turning off the winglets, thereby alleviating wing loading. This is accomplished via load sensors and a camber surface capable of responding to system inputs in fractions of a second. NASA and Boeing announce X-66A test aircraft. NASA and Boeing's Sustainable Flight Demonstrator Project has been designated the X-66A by the U.S. Air Force. 
By dint of the new X-plane, NASA and Boeing seek to inform the design of a new generation of more sustainable, narrow-body commercial aircraft. In cooperation with NASA, Boeing will build, test, and fly a full-scale demonstrator aircraft featuring a transonic truss brace wing, an extraordinarily high aspect ratio wing stabilized bilaterally by diagonal struts, after the fashion of Cessna's 172 or de Havilland's DHC-6 Twin Otter. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Electra Aero unveils full-scale technology demonstrator. Electra has unveiled the newly completed test vehicle by which it intends to vet its hybrid electric short takeoff and landing platform. The event marked a significant milestone in the company's stated mission of helping decarbonize aviation and revolutionize urban and regional transportation. The test aircraft rolled out of Electra's development facility at Manassas, Virginia's Manassas Regional Airport during a ceremony attended by guests representing the aviation industry, government, the investor community, and Electra customers. Imaginatively dubbed the Electra model EA-2 Goldfinch in celebration of the Songbird indigenous to Virginia, the bright yellow aircraft makes use of a distributed electric blown lift propulsion scheme by dint of which it's capable of taking off and landing over very short distances. Electra's powertrain comprises a hybrid electric architecture that internally recharges a collection of high-power battery packs which, in turn, energize a turbo generator that powers eight electric motors and their respective rotors. Subject motor rotor assemblies provide both forward thrust and induced lift over the aircraft's braced high wing, thereby occasioning the stole capability denoted in the machine's designation. And after these messages, SpaceX celebrates 200th booster landing. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Welcome back. SpaceX celebrates 200th booster landing. Last Monday, SpaceX landed its 200th rocket booster. The milestone achievement occurred just eight minutes after the 1435 PDT launch of the company's Transporter 8 rideshare mission from Space Launch Complex 4E at California's Vandenberg Space Force Base. Born aloft by a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, the mission delivered 72 payloads ranging in size from Pico satellites massing less than one kilogram to orbital platforms massing several hundred kilograms in two sun-synchronous orbits of approximately 525 kilometer altitudes and 97.5 degree inclinations. Certainly the strangest payload delivered to orbit by the Transporter 8 mission was a small satellite sponsored by the Vatican. Dubbed Space Satellis, Latin for Satellites of Hope, the breadbox-sized contraption contained a chip engraved with a speech delivered by Pope Francis during the COVID-19 exigency. Transporter 8 marked a turning point in Falcon 9 rideshare missions in so much as it was the first such endeavor to utilize SpaceX's modular rideshare plates to accommodate the aforementioned payloads. Transporter 8 occasioned 2023's 40th Falcon mission and followed the launch of a gaggle of Starlink satellites earlier in the day from Space Launch Complex 40 at Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. The transporter missions are intended to provide a consistent cadence of rideshare opportunities to popular orbits, such as SSO. Currently, one additional transporter mission is slated for 2023. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.